As tissue is growing in the body, normal cells will undergo mitosis, creating perfect copies of themselves until recognizing when to stop. However, when genetic mutations become more frequent and growth becomes uncontrolled, cells can form a neoplasm, or tumor, and continue to infiltrate other tissues and metastasize. So, with around 100 times more cells, why do elephants suffer from cancer at a lower rate than us? Wouldn't it make sense for these big-bodied creatures to have a higher mortality rate and predisposition to genetic mutations? One answer, lying in the genome of elephants, is the presence of extra copies of a gene known as TP53. Located on chromosome 17, TP53 is a tumor suppressor gene that provides instruction for the production of the P53 protein. Different mutagens, such as cigarettes, sun exposure, and radiation, can trigger the conversion of our proto-oncogenes to cancer-causing oncogenes. In response to the stress of this, P53 binds to damaged DNA and takes charge of a genetic triage. This protein acts as a specific transcription factor and can pump the brakes on the cell cycle to repair the damage. By stimulating the expression of the P21 gene that binds with the cell division protein, P53 can halt the process and prevent the next stage of cell division. This is known as G1 arrest, and it stops rapid proliferation of mutant cells. Less commonly, P53 will induce the expression of the BAX gene, which can speed up apoptosis, or programmed cell death. But what happens if the TP53 gene itself becomes mutated? Tumor cells will rapidly accumulate and become more malignant, which is why over 50% of all cancers are due to the mutation or lack of this gene. Although TP53 is responsible for most cancers, dangerous tumor cells are most sensitive to the suppressing abilities of P53. The function of this protein could even serve as a less harmful therapy for cancer. Because proteins are lipid soluble, cationic liposomes could be the vehicle to deliver healthy P53 proteins into cells. This protein can be injected directly into the bloodstream and would selectively suppress and eliminate cancer cells while sparing the healthy cells. Using an adenoviral vector like this would offer a less harmful alternative to standard therapeutic exposures that are toxic to normal tissues and have substantial side effects that can even lead to fibrosis and premature aging. This practice has been experimented on mice and other animals and has proved to be successful as all of the disease mice treated had significantly prolonged survival and an extreme decrease in tumor cells. The restoration of this protein's powerful functions can halt the progression of and even eliminate tumors. P53 is an incredible protein found in most multicellular organisms and may even hold the potential for a successful human cancer therapy in the future.